In this uh, short video uh, tutorial, we're going to talk about some allophones of stops and see if we can identify uh, when an allophone is used in an unexpected uh, environment. So the first one we're going to talk about is the, the phoneme p, which we can talk about it having an aspirated allophone, p, as in um, pot, p, pot, and there's a, a big puff of air, p, p, pot, um, that accompanies that p in that location. If I put it in an S blend, though, it's likely to become unaspirated, spot, 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 and you don't feel a puff of air. It might even start to sound a little bit bee-like, spot, spot, but it isn't a bee. Uh, it's not really spot, spot. Um, that would be too strong, uh, and it's, it doesn't have voicing. It's just not aspirated. Uh, it can also be unreleased, and that would be stop, stop. Now let's see what happens if we sort of switch these around. So if I were to say pot, but not use an aspirated T, a P, you would get bot, bot, planted in a pot. Um, if I aspirated it in a blend, we would get spot, spot. There's a spot on my pants. And if I release the P at the end of an utterance, stop, stop. And you can probably hear with that one, that one doesn't seem so far-fetched. And that's because with stops at the end of an utterance, they can be hard to hear. So when we need a little extra clarity, if there's, a, if there's background noise, or if we're saying something that we think the listener might not perceive well, uh, then we tend to release the consonants. All right, let's do t next. We can have aspirated t, which would be toe, toe. We could also do sto, sto, and in the s blend we lose aspiration, sto. And we can have an unreleased version as in get, get. And notice I'm not doing a glottal stop. I could do get, get. That would be a glottal stop. This is just unreleased T, get, get. I'm still touching my tongue to the alveolar ridge. Now let's mix them up and see what happens. If I unaspirate the, the T in toe, I get do, 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 ow my do. It's kind of hard to say. Um, if I aspirate it in sto, sto, uh, it sounds like that. And I can do get, get, and I can release it. Lastly, we'll do k, key, aspirated, key, key, versus ski, ski. Do you know how to ski? Again, it might even start to sound a little bit G like, ski, but it isn't a G. Uh, we're not really voicing it. It's not really ski, ski. That's actually hard to say. Um, and then it can be unreleased like in week. Uh, I, I released it. it. Week. Week. We don't tend to unrelease K too much. It's kind of too hard to hear. Um, it's possible though. Uh, let me see if I can think of another example. It's broke. 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 He broke it. Broke. Uh, and then we can release it. Broke. Um, all right, let's mix them up. So I could do ki, ki, ki. Hard to say. That's sort of unaspirated at the beginning. I could aspirate it in ski, ski, ski. And then with the final placement, it's probably going to get released anyway, but uh, week is what that would sound like. So I hope this is helpful. Um, keep in mind that um, with foreign speakers and in disordered speech, um, the distribution of these allophones may be less predictable. Um, so 
train yourself to hear the difference. Good luck.